Hi Kipsters, this is Mr. Almeida. Right now we are going to work on adding fractions. The rule for adding fractions is A over B plus C over D equals A times D plus B times C all over B times D. Okay? The operations that are happening in between the A and the D is multiplication, between the B and the C is multiplication, and between the B and the D is multiplication. So let's actually apply this rule to a special case. Two thirds plus one fourth. I'll write my equal sign, and I'll do a times d, which is two plus four in this case. That gives me eight. I'm going to write an addition sign, and then I have three plus one, three times one, which is three, all over three times four, which is twelve. And then I add eight plus three is eleven, all over twelve. I look at my denominator to see how many pieces it takes to make a whole. That's 12. I need 12 to make a whole. But I only have 11, so I know I'm not going to be able to change this number into a mixed number. The answer is 11 twelfths, because there is no other factor other than 1 that 11 and 12 have in common. Let's apply the same rule for adding fractions to mixed numbers. Well, I know that I can change this mixed number into a fraction by multiplying the denominator by the whole number and 1 times 5 is 5 adding that to 3 gives me 8 and the entire time I was talking about the sequence of fifths so my denominator will be 5 I'm gonna add that to 2 times 2 which gives me 4 add 4 to 1 and I get 5 all over the sequence of halves so my denominator is 2 now I'm going to apply the rule, 8 times 2 equals 16, add that to 5 times 5, which is 25, all over 5 times 2, which is 10. 16 plus 25, if I need to do that off to the side, let me do that. It is 41, and 41 over 10. Now. I can't pull out a common factor out of 41 and 10 other than 1, but now I'm going to check to see if I can change this into a mixed number. It takes 10 pieces to make a whole, and I have 41 tenths, so I definitely have enough to make at least a whole. So I will put the 41 on the inside and the 10 on the outside, and divide 41 by 10. 4 is not greater than 10, but 41 is, and 10 can go into 41 4 times, 4 times 10 is 40, 41 subtract 40 is 1, giving me an answer of 4 is my whole number on the top, my denominator is 10, that's the number that I was dividing by, and my numerator is 1, leaving me with an answer of 4 and 1 tenths.